Hey, what's going on YouTube? Marine X back at it again. Hunting season is coming. Holiday seasons are coming. Overlanding season's already here. Winter is coming. Okay, that's kind of cheesy, but having a rugged waterproof case might be the next thing you need to add to your arsenal. I identified it as the thing I needed to add it to my arsenal. In this video, we're gonna take a look at some rugged cases by Pelican, Rome, and Yeti. Now, to be fair, I only have extensive experience with the Yeti case. You guys see me do a video of that on this channel. And I know there's some things that are yet to be desired that prompted me to even go out and buy these other cases. So these other cases were bought with my own money, not sponsored by anybody like that. I ended up picking up the Rome 52L and I also picked up the, the Pelican Cargo BX50. Now we're going to compare these boxes slightly against each other, but also against some of the needs that I have. I need a durable box for my hunting equipment for hunting season. This, this includes armament, duck boots, warming layers, fillet knives, other processing equipment, like all that type of stuff. I needed a more durable solution. But first, if you're the man cave type of enthusiast, you like tools, all that cool stuff, man, hit that subscribe button below. We would love to have you a part of the battalion. Also, man, I would love if you give this video a big thumbs up. It's going to let YouTube know that you are getting a lot from this video. So the first one that we have here is the Yeti Loadout Go Box 30. This is a made in the USA durable Go Box. This is $249, sometimes it dips below that. So it has a 30 liter capacity. The outside of the box is 20 and a half in length. It's about 11 and an eighth in width and a height is about 14 and a half in inches. This thing weighs about 11.8 pounds empty. This is made of high density polyurethane, so it's a high density HDPE plastic. It has lockable latches, it dust proof, waterproof, it has rubber feet on the bottom. It does come in three colors. It comes in white, desert tan, and then I got it in this charcoal color. And it comes with a five year warranty. A few other things that comes unique with this case is that it does include their tray. So I have this loaded out right now for my range loadout, but it includes a tray, also include what they call a pack attic. So everything right here is in their pack attic. And they also give you a divider, which is right here in the middle. Box itself is relatively not the biggest. It's only a 30 liter capacity. It does, does have this rubber seal around it, which basically does make it weatherproof. It's almost there, if not there. And you know, you can lock it. They want you to buy the Yeti proprietary locks, but it is lockable. And this thing, you can definitely tell it is that HDPE. Next up, we have the Pelican Cargo BX50. This is a made in the USA case as well. Pelican, you know, they're known for their cases. This comes in at $249. This has a 50 liter capacity, i.e. it's called the BX50. The, this thing comes in basically in a square. So it's 17 point, it's 17.25 by 17.25 length and width. The height is 16 and a half. Now empty, this thing weighs 15.5 pounds. It's also made of the HDPE, so that high density polyurethane type plastic. Now it's roto-molded construction, which means that it can withstand drops, it can withstand someone standing on it. So these latches in the front can actually have these little, basically, you almost wanna call them like, the same type of lock you would put like down the chamber of a weapon, and you use those same type of locks on here. And so the minimum temperature for this thing is negative 20 degrees Fahrenheit. It can go all the way up to 140 degrees. That is the durability of HDPE. And it has multiple mounting points and you can buy their mounting kit interface plates, but it already has the mounting points. You can mount here, also on the side. You also can mount on the back of this box. So Pelican took a lot of thought when it comes to being able to mount this. It does come in only two colors though. You can get it in black, which I have here, or you can get it in slate or charcoal looking color. And this comes with a limited lifetime warranty. So mostly for their, their craftsmanship. So looking at this lid, the lid itself does have all these pre-drilled seemingly pilot holes. And I think they're going to be coming back with either some Molly type system, maybe some type of 
uh, accessory system that they intend to release in the future, maybe some gas struts or something like that. The pre-drilling is also carried in the inside of the box as well, which is clearly an area where you would put um, some gas struts or similar. So it's pretty deep. Um, obviously it's a 50 liter capacity, so this is bigger than the Yeti box. I do like the fact that the lip is not that deep here. So if you see my hand and my ring finger there, that it's not the biggest. So I imagine when I'm pulling gear out of this thing, it's not gonna get caught on that lip. And it is a square. So this is gonna be something that fits well in the corner of your truck, the back corner of your truck, front corner, whatever the case may be. Any place that you can kind of just squeeze a square into place, you're going to be pretty satisfied with this outcome. Hey, before we move on to the last box, if you're good and good content from this video, make sure you drop a like button and leave battalion down below. Let me know that you made it this far in the video. Now, listen, the Rome box itself, another American made box. This one's from a company out of Austin, Texas, Rome Adventure Company. This box is a 52 liter capacity. This is called their Rome 52L. Now, this only comes in at $219. The exterior is about 27 inches and in, you know, this, the length and 15 inches in width and about 15 inches in height. Now the empty weight of this is 14 pounds. You're going to notice immediately that this weighs less than the 50 liter Pelican Cargo BX box because this is made of LDPE or low density plastic. And although this is a bigger box, it has a bigger space. I'm not gonna lie, it does feel cheaper. I'm not using the word cheaper as in like quality, but you can tell that this is a different type of plastic. It has rope handles on the side, so you can't really grab this at all without these handles. It feels really weird to grab. You know, I, I failed to mention on the Pelican case, it does have that deep grip capability. I'll show you that here in a second. This includes these rope handles, which can be moved, right? So you can take these rope handles off and you could actually mount them in the front here. You can buy more of their rope handles and you can mount them wherever, you know, move them wherever you saw fit. But once this box gets super heavy, then, you know, this probably becomes a two man lift with these nylon ropes. I've seen complaints, at least from some of their earlier editions of this, of different components of this locking mechanisms in the front actually rusting out. So I'm not sure if they've improved on that. Hopefully they have, but it is really easy to get a tight seal in this. I mean, you just kind of clamp these bad boys down and it does feel really, really secure. Um, it just feels like it definitely will be damn near dust and waterproof. Here on the side, it has a stainless steel bottle opener just in case you have an emergency bottle opening situation. And unlike the other cases, this actually includes a drain plug. So if you look at the very bottom down here, you can actually see a drain hole. Now this drain hole, I think the complaint I'm gonna have about that is it's not flush with the actual bottom of the case. If you can kind of see that angle there. So I would imagine that this is not a cooler, but if you are using this to like, maybe you just need to ice, uh, maybe you have a, a kill or something, you need to ice it on your way home and you wanna get all that water out, rinse it out. You're obviously gonna be flipping this over and, and cleaning it. The lip on the front of this thing is a little bit more pronounced. You see my ring fingers a little bit closer. I would imagine when I'm pulling stuff out, stuff getting caught on this, I feel like this was just a little, left to be desired. I don't know how I'm gonna feel about that, but it does have the rubber seal around it, just like the Pelican. It has one slit here, obviously, if it ever need to be replaced. So it is one piece. So the Rome case comes in OD green, desert tan, black, and slate. I picked up the OD green color. I really like OD green. And they have a limited lifetime warranty, similar to the Pelican. Uh, so for them, it's going to be their craftsmanship. If the hinge is torn up or something like that, that's kind of what their warranty covers. All right, first we'll put these two next to each other just so you can kind of see what these are looking like if you're looking for more of the square or rectangle type solution. Let's talk about the pros and cons of the Yeti. So first of all, the Yeti comes with a tray. It comes with a divider, which is actually kind of like doubles as a cutting 
cutting board. So if you're gonna use this as a kitchen or something like that, they're giving you a plus. It also comes with that pack attic, which unlike any of the others, this comes with accessories right out the box. This, just like the Pelican, is made of the HDPE. So that high density polyurethane, plastic. This thing, now, Yeti doesn't want to use the word indestructible, but this is nearly indestructible. If you get your hands on this go box, this thing feels solid. This feels like something you can leave out, slap a lock on. Animals are not going to get in this thing. And it definitely feels like a true waterproof type option. And finally, you can access the Yeti box even when it's tied down. You could tie this down here in the front and you could still open the lid. So if you got some ratchet straps going through there or something like that, you can still open the lid. So it's good if it's on a boat, a canoe, or if it's even strapped into your truck and you still wanna be able to access the stuff on the inside, that's a good thing. But of course, Yeti, just like every other box, has its cons. First of all, the price. This thing's $249. The size is an issue. It's only 30 liters. It only comes in one size. So if you're trying to have a family of cases, if you're doing overlanding, hunting, something like that, this is it. You're not gonna get anything else. You're gonna be stuck behind their coolers or something like that, plain old boxes whatever. Also, this thing can only be tied down. You know, you might be able to buy some type of third party mounting options, but because of the rubber feet on the bottom, it's not, doesn't really seem to favor itself mountable on a roof rack. So you will be limited to tying this down, whether you're using twine or using ratchet straps, it seems like you're going to be limited. You're also going to be limited on the ratchet strap size you can use. I think that's only going to accommodate, accommodate a one inch ratchet strap you're not going to be using those big monsters also this thing doesn't look like it's getting any future accessories they give you a pack attic a tray a divider that's it i just don't it's been out for a couple years and no new accessories have dropped i don't foresee new accessories coming for this box and finally this might be a first world problem but when i send my family to go close this thing it's a pain. If I send my daughter to grab something out of this box, I think I told you guys I recently loaded this out to go to an Airbnb, so it had video games in it, Uno, family games, all that stuff. I wanted her to go put something in this thing. She couldn't manage to close this box back. While we have it up here, let's just look at some of the pros and cons of the Pelican box. Well, first of all, this thing truly seems to live up to the Pelican name. It is lightweight. It's not as you know, it's, it's heavy as some of the more traditional Pelican cases because this is designed, you know, for you to have to lift and put on a roof or something like that. You know, when they mention this actual weather ceiling in this thing, it really seems to be in there, really one solid piece. It doesn't even feel like the same type of piece like the Rome. It seems to be future-proof. You know, we talked about these little pilot holes that they have on the actual case itself. I just really think they're going to be coming with the gas struts they're going to be coming with the Molly, you know, all these little holes in here. I feel like they have a future plan with this thing. And so that does seem to be a little bit of future proofing, although it is a little bit delayed. It has been out a year. They haven't came out with anything yet. This next part is subjective, but I think they look really awesome. Just like the, you know, the actual way the box looks and it feels it. I love the way that these mounting points look and the, the handles are really easy to grab. Unlike the Yeti box and stuff like that. I like, I like the way these boxes look. Now some cons for the Pelican Cargo BX50. First of all, the limited amount of dealers. You can get this from the Yeti website if it's not sold out. You can get it from buy cases for less and a few other authorized dealers. You, you can't snag these on, you can't snag this specific box on Amazon. I do think there's a few resellers on Amazon, but not for this smallest box. This is a pretty expensive solution if you're gonna be buying multiple of these cases. So this is the 50, it is $249. And the bedside mount that they sell for these things, which I haven't picked up yet, but there's a bedside mount which will allow for you to use these back mounting points. That bedside mount looks like it's gonna preclude the use for a lot of tonneau covers. So if your tonneau cover is the type that kind of sits like right there at the top of your, your bed and maybe you have to roll it up or fold it up, this might not be very mountable because of how you have to put that universal kit. You know, I have the diamond back which sits on top of my bed, so I'm not concerned about that. This labeling right here, these are stickers. Those are gonna come off. Which So the only real branding you're getting is up here at the top. You get the Pelican, which has been embedded in the, 
the actual case but the rest of this stuff is gonna it's gonna come i could start pulling them off right now if i wanted to i'm not a big fan of that finally let's talk some pros and cons about the rome cases first of all very competitive pricing these things 219 dollars 52 liter capacity you can pick these up on their website. You can pick them up on Amazon. I'm pretty sure there's other websites to sell these things. So you got multiple options for using these things. So these are also accessible while they're strapped in. Here, if you were to mount it through this hole, if you take these straps out and mount it here, you could also mount it in the front here. You can ratchet, you can strap it down with the front and it's similar on the back. You can still open this case even when you have it strapped in, which is a good thing. You know, because this has been on the market longer, they already have accessories for this. You can buy the Molly panel, which takes up this entire backside here. You can also buy their organizer system, which basically looks like a bunch of utility pouches that can take up the whole backside here. They have gas struts you can buy and add to this thing. So they already have accessories on the market, which work for this. And, you know, we can't forget about the drain hole. They have a drain hole in here, regardless of the fact it's not flush or not. The drain hole exists. The other two do not have it. So that's going to be a good thing. Now, let's just talk a few cons about this thing. So this is made of the LDPE, so the low density polyurethane plastic. So although it's a bigger capacity, it feels cheaper. It weighs less than the 50 by Pelican and it just feels I mean, I'm pretty sure I can stand on this thing. I've seen other videos with people standing on this thing, but it just feels, you know, like I could push in hard enough on this thing and actually dent it. When I see things like bottle openers on cases, it immediately feels gimmicky. Like, oh man, we gotta throw one more thing in this thing. And so when I see stuff like that, it just, it gives me gimmicky vibes. Also an issue is that you cannot mount this to a roof or a bedside of your truck without buying third-party accessories. So there are uh, companies that are making the third-party accessories, which will allow for you to run a hard mount basically up right up the side of this thing and embed itself kind of right where the ratchet straps will go if you were to be mounting this another way. So that that is a good thing, but Rome doesn't sell that stuff. And I'm not sure how you would mount this in the bed of your truck. I mean, it's pretty flush in the back back here. So I, I don't know how that will be sold at all. Whereas Pelican has already collaborated with Front Runner. They have a roof rack system already developed. They have a bedside rack system already developed. Another thing is this drain plug, the actual drain plug cover is completely removable. And I can see myself taking this out. This is on the bed of my truck. I'm spraying it down. I get distracted. I walk away for five, 10 minutes and this growing legs, the wind blows it because it's plastic, whatever. I can see me losing this thing. I wish it kind of had kind of like a, a gas cap on my truck. You know, it has a little freaking string that keeps it so I can just let it hang. I wish that was kind of, I know that's small, but I kind of wish that was there. And unlike Yeti and Pelican, this box is IP54 rated. Clear on their website, they rate this box to go up to 70 miles an hour before rain could affect it. If, especially if you have it mounted to your roof or whatever, you know, they clearly say that. So I'm pretty sure it can, you can take it up to 100 miles an hour, but I mean, the rating on their website, which just leads me to believe, you know, that these seals on these latches are pretty good, but you know, it can be susceptible to getting some type of dust or rain inside of this box. Finally, this is gonna be completely subjective, but this thing gives me Marine Corps Foot Locker vibes. I mean, it just, I don't know. It feels really Foot Locker-y. I don't know if that's a word, but it just gives me the vibes of, you know, being a Foot Locker. It also gives me the vibes that I'm gonna scratch and dip this thing up pretty easy. So all of these cases might work for you in different scenarios. And I guess the bottom line is, is what are my recommendations? If you don't do a lot of overlanding, a lot of long hunting trips, stuff like that, you're more like weekend warrior type of stuff. And you want something that has like really good waterproofing, you're gonna be canoeing or doing water sports. I will recommend you go with the Yeti. Yeti has a great warranty, okay? Just hands down, they're the type of company that don't ask a lot of questions. As long as you register with them, they usually will take care of you. Plus with the Yeti, you're getting the pack addict. 
you're getting the tray, you're getting the divider. So if that's all you really need, you can pick you up a couple of those. If you know, if money's no object, you get you a couple of those and you'll be good to go. If you plan on going on longer overlanding trips, longer hunting trips, if you're like a super weekend warrior or something like that, then you have to consider either the Rome or the Pelican. In my opinion, the Yeti's just out of there. You'd be better off getting a Plano than case than having the Yeti box. Now, if you don't plan on mounting to your roof or price is an issue, then my recommendation would be the Roam case. You know, this thing comes in multiple colors. As long as you just intend to grab this thing, maybe you will buy aftermarket roof rack eventually, but you know, this is what I would recommend. It's widely available. You can pick it up on Amazon, multiple colors and you get the most leader capacity for the cheapest. So, you know, if that's not a big concern for you, I would recommend the Rome. However, if you plan on mounting your cases to your roof, maybe to a headache rack, the top of your tonneau cover, mounting it to the side of your bed, you have to consider going with the Pelican. There's a reason why Pelican was the last one to come to market. You know, they have a collaboration with Front Runner. They already have a Toyota kit that you can use for the inside of your bed. And then they have a universal mount kit, which I have on order that you can use for your bed. And you can mount these with mounting points. You can lock it to the mount, you know, which you cannot do even if you buy the aftermarket mount for Rome. And you can immediately buy that and have a mountable system immediately. And so in my opinion, Pelican was the last to hit the market for these like overlanding type cases because they're known for engineering the mess out of something. Sometimes they over engineer some stuff. And you know, the Pelican case is roll molded. It is just my opinion, it's probably gonna work out better on top of a roof. It can take higher temperatures up to 140 degrees. Rome doesn't even tell you their rating, but LDPE is already known for not being able to take that same high rating. But you have to think about the price with this, 50 liters, 249 bucks. You get a little bit more bang for your buck with the Rome. Now, the question you may be asked is which one do I plan on using and keeping? Well, I'm just going to tell you hands down, it won't be the Yeti. That's going to become primarily my range loadout. Take that to the rifle range, stuff like that. But I don't want to prejudge these other two boxes. You know, I know that mountability is important to me, but it is kind of nice getting more liters for less money. So I'm going to use them this hunting season. And by the end of this season, especially the way I treat my boxes, we always get snow in the part of Texas I hunt in. Like, how are these things going to stand up? I don't know by the end of this season. But make sure you're subscribed so you can know my follow on review for each of these boxes. If you're first time here, I appreciate you coming. If you've been here before, welcome back. Battalion, I appreciate that. And in the meantime, we'll speak soon.